Maya eyeballs to yours. 29 right now is playing the best hockey on planet Earth, and it's not even close. Scores! Nathan McKinnon does it again. Nathan McKinnon has been unstoppable. First thing I wanted to ask you, I always wonder about those summer battles with, with, with Sid and the other players from Nova Scotia because players say that they know they've made it when Nathan McKinnon and Sidney Crosby say, you can join our skates. What are those skates like? Don't forget about Marshy either. He's no, there. No, right, of yeah. course, yes. <laughs> yes. They're awesome. They're so much fun. Um, a couple times this summer, there's some heated arguments, but usually we're okay. Are you and Sid always on separate teams? Yes. Yeah, always. Always. I'm in a blue, he's in a black every summer. Um, Marshy and Sid are on the same team. Always? Always, yeah. Uh, that's tough to handle. <laughs> that's tough. I don't win many games, but uh, it's fun. What is the biggest fight you've got, or battle you've had with Sid in one of these games? <laughs> no, nothing physical. Just, okay. Nothing morning. physical. Just usually if a goal counts or not. Okay, here's the toughest question I can ask you about Crosby, and that's the last one. Will you guys ever play together? I hope so. The main thing I'm focused on is the Olympics. I think Sid has a ton of game left. I think he can play as long as he wants to, honestly. Hopefully I can stay good enough to make that team and uh, play together. I think your position is pretty safe. <laughs> I Never remember know. a couple of years ago, you skated with Marner, right? Just in case it ever happened, you and Marner would play together on an Olympic team. Yeah. Is there anybody else you skated with just in case like that? I played on a line with Marner's um, power play mm -hmm. at the 2017 World Championships. Played with Connor, the North American team, which was a ton of fun. McKinnon's all alone. He shoots, he scores! Spectacular goal for Nathan McKinnon. I know there's been a lot of players who've been very vocal behind the scenes at its time, and you're one of those guys, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, winning the, the Stanley Cup is one thing, but you know, representing and competing for Canada is a whole nother thing um, that can really solidify your career and look back on and be uh, something super proud of. You are a big fan of hockey. So on nights where you're not playing, I know you watch, I know you keep an eye on the league, who is the player that you love watching the most? I think Sid, I watch a lot of Pittsburgh games. I watch uh, Braden Chen as well, just two good friends of mine. And then I love watching Kucherov. I think everyone does. I think if you asked everybody's favorite player in the NHL, I think they'd say Kucherov. Really? I would say like all the, you know, top guys in the league, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. I think everyone, uh, you know, is a big fan of his. He's just, has no pulse out there. It looks like when he's playing, it's amazing to watch. Here's Kucherov, scores! A rocket from the top point man in the NHL. Last one for you, uh, Nathan. If you could change one thing in the NHL or you could bring one thing that could happen in the NHL, what would it be? I would love to see a team in uh, London. In London, England? Yeah. Really? Logistically, I don't think it could ever happen, but you never know, maybe one day. Um, yeah, I'd love to also play there, you know, in, in the Global Series or whatever, playing the O2 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I just think British people would love hockey if they uh, saw a little bit more of it and saw all of the best players play. That's a great answer. Very unique. Thanks for your time. Yep, no problem. Thank you for having me.